Hi, it's Chris at the Piano here, and we're looking at Chopin's Waltz, sometimes referred to as B150. It's the posthumous waltz in A minor. And this is worksheet number five in section two of my workbook. We're looking at remote notes here, and I was inspired for this exercise by Dr. Josh Wright. I highly recommend his YouTube channel. He's also on Facebook, and he has some fantastic practice concepts that are well worth listening to. I've used this with a number of students and found it very successful. So it's five on A, one, jumping to five on A3. Just do it silently and then with sound. Now in bar two, we're going from five on A1 to three on C4. Again, do it silently, looking at each note. Then pedal down, we'll do with sound. And up. In the next bar, we're going from five on A1 to thumb on E4. Do it silently first, and then with sound. the next line we're using the start of the double notes moving towards the chord of A minor. So we're going from 5 on A1 to 5 on A3 and 3rd finger on C4. Again silently making sure you touch at the same time and then with sound use a little bit of pedal Next we have A1 to 3 on C4 and thumb on A3. Do it silently first, looking at the notes that you're jumping to before you jump, and then with sound. And finally we're going to the full chord of A minor. Again, look at the notes before you land and your fingers should touch the keys in one go. Then with a little pedal. Now to play the whole exercise through, we'll have a steady beat of one, two, three. 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 It's very useful to practice this with your eyes closed and to practice it at different speeds. You could practice it an andante, there may be a moderato and an allegro. These are faster than will be required in the piece, but that's absolutely fine. We want a good security before we play the piece, so the ascending leap is not going to have any problems. Also practice this on different chords. We've got the A to the A minor, but you could practice from the D to the G7 by practicing to the G, then to the B, then to the F. And this can be done with all the chords in the piece before you start. It's not cheating to practice them all first. And if you need to go through each one individually, it's an exercise that's well worth doing. See you next time. Bye for now.